On November 6, the United States will close its pearls for voters. It's a no wonder that traders may see intense volatility across major assets driven by news around the US presidency. While the US dollar is likely to strengthen regardless of the winner, the extent of this rise is crucial for traders. Economic factors play a decisive role in its main pairing against the euro, and the European economy lags behind the US economy. Let us examine how Forex may respond to macroeconomic reports published on November 6. You are watching Traders Calendar. Note that the year switched to standard time this weekend. As a result, the issue of the crude oil inventories report from the American Petroleum Institute was shifted to the following morning for Asian and European traders. As for oil inventories, they are expected to drop by half to minus 0.9 million barrels, likely pushing oil prices higher. The US Energy Information Administration will release its own report later on November 6. Several major economies will release business activity data on Wednesday. Alongside figures on a services PMI, markets will learn data on the composite PMI, which accounts for both services and manufacturing sectors. Japan's composite indicator may decline from a 52 points to 49, thus weakening the yen against the US dollar. The Russian ruble may face the same situation, a sway by S&P Global suggests a decline in Russia's business activity, with the composite index anticipated to fall by 0.2 points to 49.2. But this report to the 50-point line is a critical, as anything below this mark indicates economic contraction. Germany's economy contracted in September, which is reflected in a composite PMI that stands at 47.5 points. In October, this indicator may climb to 48.4 points, potentially strengthening the euro against the dollar. The composite PMI report for the entire eurozone is also expected to tick upward, although only by 0.1 points to 49.7. Even a minor increase could serve as a positive signal for the euro, boosting its appeal to buyers. Producer prices in the eurozone may also decline. Compared to the previous year, the indicator's growth is already negative. A deeper negative figure would signal lower inflation, exerting downward pressure on the euro. Several European Central Bank officials, including President Christine Lagarde, will speak at an economic forum in Frankfurt. The remarks may boost volatility for the euro, aggravating the already tense trading atmosphere driven by the US elections. Toward the end of the day, the US dollar could be affected by its northern neighbor, the Canadian dollar. The fact is that Canada's PMI is expected to rise to 54.2 uh, points, thus boosting the Canadian dollar. The Canadian dollar may also gain support following the release of the U.S. crude oil inventory data, as we previously mentioned. The Energy Information Administration's report last week showed a decline of a minus 515,000 barrels, and a further decrease may drive oil prices up. Rising oil pr uh, prices typically support commodity currencies, which could marginally weaken the greenback. Please note that the time of the publications in our video is set in a GMT plus 3. The next video review of a trader's calendar will be released on a Wednesday, November 6th.